Jordan normal form. I have a linear system with one input and one output that are described by this uh, state equation. So we can see that it is a uh, Jordan uh, form because I have uh, the matrix which is uh, almost diagonal uh, where I have ones on the sub diagonal. I have to draw a block diagram of this system using integrators, adders and amplifiers to calculate the transform for the transfer function and the characteristic polynomials. This is uh, my system and I can see that it is in a normal form because here on the diagonal I can see the eigenvalues like this. It is triangular first and where I have the same eigenvalues as here, these are the same. In this case I am allowed to have ones here. Or I may have zero or ones. But everywhere, like here, I should have zeros. Okay. Moreover, to have a Jordan form, I need to have a one here. So I remove everything just to have a better view. So I I can see that I have different blocks. This block corresponding to the eigenvalue minus two, and this block corresponding to minus three. So for each block, I have a link with respect to the input u, and here I have a 1. So we can see that, uh, and here they can be as they want in the, in the observation matrix. Okay, so this matrix, when um, uh, uh, this form is uh, used, mainly when the, the matrix A, the evolution matrix, is not, uh, uh, we cannot uh, find a diagonal uh, uh, basis for it, and in this case, if the matrix is only triangulable, then I will use, I will prefer the Jordan form. Okay, so now I have to uh, provide uh, a wi uh, wiring for, for it with integrators. So for simplicity, I will represent uh, uh, integrator like this. So I can understand that uh, here I have minus one and one, and this would correspond to something like this. X dot one, X one, and I have a feedback like this. And uh, here I will have a link with X2. Okay, like, so for simplicity, otherwise the realization will be true complex. This will be replaced by the S divided by s uh, 1 divided by s plus 2 so i will represent in this way this block will be represent, will be represented by this one with the corresponding transfer function just to avoid to have too many integrators okay so now what i can understand is that here i have u And I will first consider this block. So U is connected to this one. And I will have the same representation as this. So I will have 1 divided by S plus 2 due to this. Then here I will have x3 then this line 
will give me 1 divided by s plus 2 and this gives me x2 1 divided by s plus 2 as see here uh, and I will have x1 ok now I can do the same with the other block which is here so I have u I will have 1 divided by s plus 3 in series with 1 divided by s plus 3 this correspond to x3 and here x4 ok uh, now I will have also a direct term so this one probably in red so the two here which allow me to build y y is here so from u the direct term is like this two and I will go to some other somewhere that will go to y now I need to provide a wire for this so mine I will first consider the minus 2 x1 so minus 2 x1 after minus 1 x2 and 3x3 minus 4x4 four four. and excuse me here it's 5 yes and 7 x5 so here I don't need this just straight okay so this correspond to the realization with integrators headers and amplifiers of this system recall that on each of these block I have one integrator and the, uh, the feedback from the, its own state that are not represented here for simplicity now from this the second question I have to write uh, the transfer function associated to this system so from this I should write write y with respect to u so I am here in the Laplace space so I can put hat everywhere like here or whatever and uh, I can see directly that j of s transfer function is equal so first I have the 2 u ok because of the 2 here so I have the 2 plus now uh, I have uh, here so I will consider this path this path 3 times 1 divided by s plus 2 plus 3 divided by s plus 2 plus ok so this path has been considered now I will consider this path 
so I cross twice the block 1 divided by s plus 2. So I will have here plus minus y divided by s plus 2 square uh, n. Now I consider this path. So minus 2 and then I have to cross 3 times 1 divided by s plus 2. So we'll have minus 2 divided by s plus 2 cubed because I crossed 3 times. Plus, now, so this path has been considered already. So now I will consider this path. So I will have plus 7 divided by s plus 3. And now it remains this path. So I cross twice this block. So I will have here minus 4 divided by s plus 3 square. So this corresponds to, um, to the transfer function of my system. So what about the characteristic polynomial? I can read directly from this. So it was equation number 3. Characteristic polynomial. I can read directly from this that it corresponds to p of s equal s plus 2 uh, cube because of the cube which is here plus s plus 3 square u to the square which is here multiply sorry excuse me multiply uh, so the I will check after but from this the roots are minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 three times and minus 3 minus 3 so I conclude that it is stable because all of them are negative this also correspond to the eigenvalue of a which is called the spectrum of a also so I can check easily because a is triangular so I can read the diagonal 